This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Law enforcement is investigating a deadly officer-involved shooting that happened on Friday near Admiral Boulevard and Tracy Avenue. Authorities say that KCPD officers were making a felony traffic stop after seeing a homicide suspect in a car. The suspect refused to get out, according to police, and fired shots at them, four of whom returned fire. The suspect died at the hospital from his injuries. Per standard procedure, the police officers have been put on administrative leave while the highway patrol investigates. A 42-year-old woman is facing charges now in connection with a kidnapping and high-speed chase that happened on Thursday in KCK. Carol Loving has been charged with felony kidnapping, felony theft, and fleeing from police. It comes after she stole a car, according to police, and this charger that she stole was left running with a two-year-old inside. A pursuit then happened. It spanned 36 miles, and the child, though, was safely returned to his parents when that chase finally came to a stop. A new study suggests that if 95% of Americans wore a mask in public, that more than 100 lives, 100,000 lives, would be saved. The study was done by the University of Washington. About 49% of Americans said that they, quote, always wear a mask. And if mask wearing remains at that rate, then the coronavirus death toll could reach 1 million by the end of February. Freeze warnings in effect until 10 o'clock in the morning Saturday. Cold night tonight. In fact, we're down to about 29 degrees in the morning. 42 at noon, 47 at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's well below normal. We should be in the low to mid 60s at this time of year. Chances for snow? Yep. First opportunity Monday, mostly northwest of Kansas City in the metro. Another opportunity later in the day Monday, but northern Missouri could stay in the snow for the bulk of the day on Monday. But anything that does fall and stick may melt away as the rains come in on Thursday. So how much snow? Well, you go north of that Iowa state line. There's four, five, maybe six inch totals. Well, here in Kansas City and over towards Lawrence and Chillicothe, pretty much right on the edge, maybe a half inch if everything hits just right. But it's one reason to keep a sharp eye on the weekend forecast. 47 Saturday, 45 Sunday, then that big drop in temperatures when the snow moves in. But after it does, it should all melt away as much warmer air works in by the end of next week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.